instant data that is all important for this test. The PEMS will track every kind of emission, including the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide, the smog-causing carbon monoxide, and the nasty oxides of nitrogen. The numbers we get should be precise enough to allow us to call whether the motorcycles or the cars are better for the environment. And with six vehicles, that's a lot of driving. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. But thanks to the wonders of non-linear editing. OK, this is bike versus car. The 30-minute test for the 80s. 80s. Pollution test in three. 90s. Two. And naughties. One, go. Can take place simultaneously. And we're off. Da -da 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 -da. A left turn takes us into the neighborhood where we can do some city driving. Jamie's keeping up nicely. Everyone's going roughly the same speed. Test is going perfect. Everything is going perfectly. And Adam's running commentary gives us a very special insight. Uh, ooh, I just burp and taste a little bit of my lunch. Enchiladas. As the guys gather their data. I must say I never quite understood the dogs and sweaters thing. I mean, they're cute as blazes, but I like petting my dog. I don't like petting a sweater. I'm really glad we had this time alone that we can talk. <laughs> After a few minutes of city driving, the freeway portion of the testing begins. I am driving for scientific testing on the freeway in Northern California. I'm followed by Jamie and following a police car gather the pollution data. <laughs> Finally found an excuse to use a rocket launcher. New season of Mythbusters, Wednesday, September 28th at 9, only on Discovery.